Hey guys, this is Bailey with Scott Leroy Marketing, and today I'm going to show you how you can create a buyer guide in Command and add that to your IDX site. So right now I'm on the sign-in page of Command. I'm at agent.kw.com, and I'm going to go ahead and sign in with my username and password. And that will bring me to the Command dashboard. So we first need to create our buyer guide. We can do that over here. On the left, we want to go into design. So I'm going to click on this icon here for designs. Looks like either like a little pad and pen um, or a tablet. Click on that. And that will bring us into my design templates. So this is where we can view any designs we've created in the past. I want to go ahead and create a new design. So I'm going to click on the plus sign down at the bottom right. For this buyer guide, I'm going to select print, and then next. This is going to bring us into our print templates that we have access to. On the left, I'm going to click buyer, and then I will select buyer presentation. We have two different buyer presentations here. We can, you can choose whichever one you prefer. I'm going to go ahead and select the second one. So I'm going to highlight this by putting my mouse on top of the, de the design and then click Use. All right, this brings us into the buyer guide. It first brings us into a blank page. Um, we will go ahead and remove that later on. But basically, you can scroll through the different pages of the buyer guide over here on the left. You can see there's quite a few options. And then anything that you click on is going to add it to the guide and basically put this all together for you. So let's say I like this first page. You can see it kind of pops that open. I can add my table of contents. And then you can just go through and select any pages that you think would be right to add to your website. So one thing to note, um, some of these will be more customized toward a specific buyer. Since we're adding this one to our KW Command website, we do want it to be just like a general buyer guide. So I'll select this page, which has information about the app. And then these seem to be more general, how buying a home works. So you can go through this, lots of different options here, and you can select all the pages that you think will be great for your website. So like I said, for this one, we want to pick kind of the more general, generic pages because this is just going to be live on our website. So we've selected eight pages here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click pages down at the bottom and you can see these are all the pages that we selected to add to our buyer guide. This first one here, it's circling. This was actually that blank page that we saw at the beginning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little drop down here. We have the option to add in a new page, duplicate this page, or delete this page. So I'm going to click the trash can button to delete. That'll actually remove that. So now we have seven pages here. You will want to go through these and just make sure you're not missing anything that may need to be customized. So for example, I clicked on the first page here and I'm going to minimize that, this pages option. You can see it has a, a place for a first name and a last name. This is probably where you'd put a client's name. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on these and then hit delete on my keyboard just to take that out. This generic KW logo, I'll go ahead and zoom in so you can see that a little bit better. I'm going to click on that. 
hit delete. I'll take out Royal Realtors as well. Oh, and then when you delete some of these, it does have a placeholder image, so you can delete that as well. What I would recommend is putting in your office logo or a generic KW. You can, of course, add logos to your library by clicking Add to Library here, and you can upload a logo from your computer. There are also some generic KW logos in command for you. So right now, if we were to go over to the left and click on Logos, we can click Company, KW, and I'll just choose one of these. If I click on this, it'll actually add it in for me. You can see editing these pieces in command is really simple. We're just going to go through this quickly for the purpose of this video today. We do have other videos that go through customization just a little bit more in depth, but you can see it's really easy. You can just click on things, drag them to make them smaller, align them so that they're centered. You can see these grid lines pop up when I move things around. And that looks good to me. So we'll click on pages one more time down here just to make sure everything looks good to go. I recommend taking a closer look at each one of these pages to make sure the information is to your liking and you're not missing anything that may need to be customized. Up at the top right, you can see it says Untitled Design. I'm going to go ahead and change this. This is actually the name of the piece. So I'm going to change this to Buyer Guide. And I'll do Site. So this is the one we want to add to our website. You can see, actually, when I type that in, it's saved really quick. So this is now saved in our library. And now what we want to do is download this. So I'm going to uh, go down to the right of this right here and click Download. We will select Get PDF. Go ahead and select Download and Range. So my pages one through seven, you can change this if you'd like. If you only wanted pages one through five, what have you. And then for quality, you can leave this as standard web quality because this is going on our website. If you were printing this, I'd recommend changing this to print quality. And I'll go ahead and click Start Download. This is going to save this PDF file to my computer. There we go. So make sure you take note of where that was saved. So now, in order to add this to our KW command site, we do need to embed it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Google Drive. I'm just at drive.google.com. So you do have to be signed into a Gmail to access this and, complete, and to complete the setup. So this is my Google Drive. What I'm going to do is go over to the top left and click on New. And then File Upload, because basically what we're doing is adding this PDF buyer guide to our Google Drive. So I clicked File Upload. I can select this file from my computer. And you can see it actually popped up. I'm in my recent uploads here. You can click on it down here at the bottom, or it should pop up on your screen. So my buyer guide is now in Google Drive. So when I double click on this, a couple things we want to do. So from here, I'm going to go to the top right and click on the dot, dot, dot. And I'm going to click Open in New Window. All right. From here, I'll go ahead and click on that dot, dot, dot again. And we want to make sure that this is a public file because if this is a private file in your drive where only you can see it or only people you, you share it with can see it, um, it's not going to actually appear on your website. So let's go to share first. And we don't actually want to share this. We just want to update the settings. So I'm going to click advanced. And you can see who has access. It's saying it's private. So if we were to go through this process and add it to our site without changing this, it won't actually appear on your website. You will probably be able to see it because you'll be signed into your Gmail, but it won't show up for anyone else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to where it says private, only you have access, and click change. And you can see it's set to off right now. We're going to change this to public. So anyone on the web will be able to see this file.
and make sure this is can view. We don't want people editing this or commenting on this, just can view so that people can see it. And then we'll click save. And then you can actually click done from this page now. So now this is public. We can now go in and add it to our site. So we're going to click that dot, dot, dot at the top again. And now we will choose embed item. All right, so we're actually gonna come back to this. This is the code we need, but now we're gonna switch gears and go back to command. So I'm back in command, I clicked on my command tab. We're done here as well, so I'm going to click this back arrow up at the top right, or top left next to the KW. And from here, I will click on this X at the top right, and that'll take us back into command. All right, we are back in command at my design templates, and now we wanna go into our website so we can actually add this page. So down at the bottom left, I'm going to click this icon here for consumer. And this is going to bring us into our website pages. We can see our different landing pages, different pages on our website. So to create a new page to add to our command IDX site, we're going to click create a new site at the top right. It gives us two options here. We are going to choose on my agent site because we're adding a page to our, our agent site. And then create page. And this basically brings us into a blank template where we can add different widgets and elements to our website page. To add in that embedded code, we're actually going to choose company profile and we'll tweak this so it um, fits exactly what we need. So I'm going to go over to the right where under widgets and I'm going to click on company profile and drag that over to the left. And then when I release the button from my mouse, you can see it adds in this information. So we actually don't want any of this. We're going to take this all out. So we're going to go over to the right again and click configure widgets. And then we will click company profile. And now we're going to edit this to make it fit a little bit better with what we're actually trying to add in. So under headline, you can see it says about Royal, Re Royal Realtors, it's a tongue twister. We'll change that to buyer guide. Under intro text, just go ahead and take this out for now. You can delete that. And then basically everything else on this section, we're gonna delete. So we can delete the header image. You can add in a different one if you wanted to. That's this background image here. We'll take out the section one heading. You can see under section one text, there is a little red star, so it does require something in, is in there. So you can see I removed the text. I'm just going to hit my space bar once. And that'll make it look like there's something there, but it actually won't appear, so that's perfect. And then I'll just quickly go through and remove everything else. I'm going to delete these images, delete this text, basically just remove everything over here on the right. All right, so that is now good to go. Everything is blank. We have a space in section one text, and then we have our headline. So now we wanna go into our intro text. That's going to be this section here. And now we wanna switch gears, go back to our Google Drive page where we had this code. And let's go ahead and copy this. So I'm going to highlight this and copy. I hit that right click on my mouse. You can also hit Control C or Command C on your keyboard that will copy. And we'll go back to my tab in Command. And in this intro text section, I can go ahead and paste that code. So now you can see, I'll go ahead and expand this. My iframe code is in this section and I know we can't see it yet, but we're gonna do some magic here in a second. So the only thing we need to change on here 
is the width and the height. The width is 640. We actually want to change that to 700. And for the height, we will change that to 1,000. So now, once we go down to the bottom, everything else in here is good to go. We can click Save and Apply. And you can see, now it says Buyer Guide at the top, and here's our Buyer Guide. So now this page is created, and people can scroll through it. And that looks pretty good. Up at the top right, we do want to change the title of this page. I'll go ahead and change it to Buyer Guide. And now I'm going to click Save Changes at the top right. And we'll click Yes. So now this created that landing page, but it's not actually on our website yet. Oh, and this is actually one I created previously. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that so we don't get that confused. There we go. All right. So we can see my buyer guide here. Um, this page, it has been created, but it's not actually on our website yet. So we're going to go over to site and app settings at the top right. And we are almost done. <laughs> All right, from here, we click site and app settings. We're going to click site pages. And this is basically going to allow us to edit the menu on our site. So you can see these are all the websites or all the pages on our site currently. We want to add a new page. We want to add that page we just created. So I'm going to click add page. And these are all the pages we have currently created. And you can see my buyer guide is down at the bottom. So I'll go ahead and select that. Click continue. And now we need to edit this information. So this is the page title. I will change that to buyer guide. URL slug, I will do buyer slash or dash guide. And under SEO description, I'll just put buyer guide. And you can always come back and update this. So now scottleroymarketing.kw.com slash buyer dash guide will take you to that site. Um, and let's make sure we hit save pages, save page changes. So now I'm going to go ahead and copy this URL. Let's just go to our website, scottleroymarketing.kw.com. This is my command IDX site. Technically it's Scott's, but this is the one we're working on right now. And then you can see our menu is up at the top. When we click on this, there's our buyer guide page. And when we select that from the menu, it will take us into the buyer guide page. And once this loads, there we go. It says buyer guide at the top, and you can scroll through that beautiful PDF that we created. So that is how you can create a buyer guide in command and add that to your IDX site.